What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Uh, today we're going to do a top 10 David Letterman style on uh, why Jason Zucca should rock a Power Play with CJ shirt. I'm a huge Jason Zucca fan, and we got the new Power Play on uh, Minnesota Wild shirts. And, and I figured it give, gives Zucca a deal to get one before they, they go out to the general public. And, you know, on the house, Zucca, as always. Number 10, uh, Charlie Coyle and Zach Phillips both have uh, different versions of them. And, uh, you know, if you want to fit in with the cool kids, whether you're in Minnesota or Iowa, uh, you definitely you need one because, you know, the Power Play with CJ is cool. And they have the shirts, so they're cool as well. Number nine, if you notice something special about these colors, besides the Minnesota Wild style, is that um, they are stain-proof. So you can have as many animal-style double-doubles as you want, or and they won't get stained. I personally, triple-triple animal-style with some fries and uh, one of those shakes. Oh, my God. You know, I, when I'm in SoCal, I try not to eat stuff like that because I got I to gotta keep this body looking good to hit uh, to hit Carlsbad Beach. But, you know, it's, it's a thought. Or, you know, Vegas, wherever I am that is in and out, which, by the way, should be nationwide. It's a travesty upon this nation that there isn't an in and out in every city across the country. Number eight, for what it's worth, I once clamored for you to be a first-round pick in 2010. I, I think you should have gone higher in that draft. And if you don't believe me, ask your former national team development program teammates, uh, Adam Clendenning and Matt Nieto. I was telling them, I was like, hey, that, that kid you guys played with, Zucker, who plays with Denver, he, he's awesome. Why didn't he go higher in the draft? You know, I saw you play that game against BU. And then a couple years later, I was telling Nieto and, and Clendenning that. So ask them. They'll, they'll back me up. Power play with CJ knows what's, what's going on. Number seven, on the flip side of the coin, you uh, you kind of let me down in the playoffs this year. Now, I know it was great to score an overtime winner against the Blackhawks. Don't get me wrong. It'd be, it's an awesome feeling. I mean, Mario Lemieux never scored a playoff overtime winner. That's actually a true fact, by the way. Um, but you couldn't have scored three more and then you know, knocked the Chicago Blackhawks out of the playoffs and made it so that they wouldn't have ripped the hot out of me this summer with the 17-second collapse of the Boston Bruins at home. I mean, really? You know, I, you, you could have stopped it single-handedly if you put, like, four goals on the board. I mean, huh? it's easy to score in the NHL. Gretzky scored 92 goals once. You know, no one's done it since, but something to think about. Number six, my uh, freshman year roommate was a major pain in the ass and also happened to be a uh, Denver Pioneers fan. Not that the two are, are linked, but just, you know, I mean, come on. You wear that shirt, maybe I'll have a more favorable uh, opinion of, of Denver of the Denver Pioneers hockey program because, you know, it's, it was an unfavorable one for the two months I lived there with him before I found another roommate. Number five, the uh, Ryan Kessler hates me with a passion, as evidenced by him blocking me on Twitter for my calling him out for his diving and his antics on the ice in the 2012 series against Los Angeles Kings. Look at it this way. You wear the shirt, an alliance can be formed. Like when Reagan and the Pope had the alliance against the Soviet Union, it'll be like that, only with Ryan Kessler playing the role as the evil empire. Because, you know, the Vancouver Canucks are the evil empire. They've never won a damn thing, and they fall around the ice and, you know, have a just a pretentious attitude towards a game that is, um, you know, repulsive as a fan. So, something to think about. Number four, Bobby, if I ever hit the Powerball and become a 100 million, you know, have a $100 million in bank account, or, you know, $600 million in my bank account, and I buy an NHL team and move it to Las Vegas, I'll acquire you. I'll, I'll make you the hometown kid, you know, pay compensate you handsomely. Now, I understand you're in a great situation in Minnesota, team on the rise, some amazing young players, but, I mean, think about it. The, the Las Vegas power play with CJs would be quite a team. You know, I think the Wranglers are moving out, so it's, it's something to think about because right? Vegas is the place to be. Number three, Charlie Coyle, number four, Bobby O, number three, Charlie Coyle. A little bit difference in skill, all due respect to, to Charlie, but uh, I know you can't talk about players under contract with other teams, but if a certain Austrian sniper who resides in the land of 10,000 lakes in the off season is being recruited by you guys and you're wearing the shirts, I mean, he might say, wow, that, that, that team has amazing style. I'll sign there for the league minimum to help this team win the Stanley Cup. I mean, you never know. You know, th about this certain Austrian sniper who... Uh, I think lives on Long Island right now. I could be mistaken, but I, I, I can't talk, I can't name names. Just just saying. Number two, convincing the fashion mogul Mike Russo to wear it is just too hard. And the number one reason why Jason Zucker should wear a power play with CJ shirt, one of these amazing, beautiful, one of a kind beauties, is um, too many times my family members have gone to Mrs. Zucker's hometown of Las Vegas and lost their shirts. And I always ask them, like, why didn't you pack an extra shirt? Or, you know, maybe, why didn't you go to, like, a gift shop and buy a new shirt? I mean, oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alleviate the pressure on my family members by giving a Las Vegas native a shirt that I designed. If he's walking around Vegas wearing them and a family member of mine is walking around shirtless, he can be like, oh, I can, that's CJ's shirt, I can wear that. But, uh, you know, Jason, think about it.
power play with CJ. We'll get I get I gotta get Charlie and the rest of the guys shirts. I got a few of them. They'll go on sale to the general public probably next week because I got another shipment coming in. But I got enough of you and the guys on the team. They'll be awesome. You can you can just get one. Whatever. I mean it'll be it'll be great. And um, you know just think give it a give it a thought and hopefully they keep you up for the rest of the year because by God your play has warranted it lately. And you know if if you agree to wear one, you know I'm, I'll go to Las Vegas if you want during the off season. I'll go to the Mirage and you uh, you. What we'll do is we'll get Charlie can come out, Trevor can come out, uh, Mikey G can come out, and we'll um, we'll go to the Mirage, and you guys can throw me in a Tiger pit, and I uh, bet money on me versus a Tiger. Tiger's leading off at fifty to one, but um, I think you throw ten grand on me, it's it's an easy five hundred k. I mean, uh, I, I'm I'm ready to to go, you know. So anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ Top Ten Reasons Jason Zaka should wear a Power Play with CJ shirt. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.